as President Trump considers sending illegal immigrants to sanctuary cities. Lawmakers in Florida now looking at a couple of bills that would ban sanctuary cities from the Sunshine State. A Republican behind one of those bills, Florida State Representative Cord Byrd, joins us now. Cord, thanks for being here this morning. Explain what you would like your legislation to do in the state of Florida. Good morning, Pete, and welcome uh, from the uh, Sunshine State. Yeah, so what the bill would do is, would be to ban uh, sanctuary cities in Florida and require uh, state and local law enforcement to cooperate with federal law enforcement agencies in the enforcement of federal immigration law. So if someone commits a crime in Florida or, or they're found to be in that state illegally, your local law enforcement can actually coordinate with ICE and the federal government to deal with that? Correct. So what would happen is if uh, state or local law enforcement uh, arrest someone for a crime they've committed in Florida, then uh, the, that law enforcement agency would contact uh, federal immigration authorities, advise them that they have this person in custody, and uh, allow, the, allow the federal immigration authorities to take custody if necessary. Got it. Well, you know, illegal immigration is not a small problem in Florida. In fact, uh, based on our statistics, 775,000 illegal immigrants in Florida, third highest in the U.S. So it, when would you hope, you, you'd hope this would take effect quickly? And as it, as it pertains to illegal immigrants, are they brought to Florida or are they oftentimes they, they go there themselves looking for work or other opportunities? Both. I mean, you know, Florida's a gateway to, um, to, to the Central and South America. And so some of them come here for work. Some of them come here on visas and, and overstay. Uh, so, you know, Florida's a, many people want to be here, and, and including um, both legal and illegal immigrants. And mm -hmm. uh, we want to make sure that uh, those who are here are following the uh, rule of law and, and, and obeying the laws of the state of Florida and the nation. Well, a very important distinction, a basic one, but important that always gets papered over is legal and illegal immigration. One of the, a simple question here is why does it, to viewers watching, why does it feel like we oftentimes value illegals over U.S. citizens? Well, that's what's baffling, and, and quite frankly, uh, this law should be unnecessary. You would think that those who raise their right hand and take an oath to the Constitution, whether they're an elected official or a law enforcement officer, would follow the law. Uh, so this is the adherence to the Rule of Law Act, and uh, the president campaigned in one Florida, uh, Governor DeSantis won Florida, making adherence to the Rule of Law and, and the fact that we are going to respect the law in the state of Florida central to their campaigns, and this law simply uh, respects the will of Floridians. You've got sanctuary cities there in Florida. What do you make of the president's recent proposal that maybe if, if illegals are here, they should go straight to sanctuary cities? Well, I think what the, the president has touched on is the frustration, not only his frustration, but the frustration uh, of all law-abiding Americans uh, that, uh, that, that we're not going to treat people, illegal aliens, differently from, from law-abiding Americans, and that Florida, um, hopefully when this bill passes, and it will pass, and be signed by the governor, that uh, Florida is not going to be a state that uh, the, the president's going to need to send anybody to. Cord, keep us posted on the bill. Appreciate it. Cord Bird. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.